morning, Eagles. I'm Lily. Today is Monday, March 18th of 2024. Welcome back to school. Yesterday, as you know, was St. Patrick's Day, and that's what today's show is all about. So starting off, we have a feature story about St. Patrick's Day. Then we're going to go to some student interviews and end it off with Manners with Morocco. At DJHS, we strive to be prompt, polite, and prepared, and our mission is that each student graduates with the skills necessary to be successful in college or a career. So get ready, because ENN starts now. meets every Tuesday and then 3 2 one, six. If you're interested in joining the Pickleball Club, they have their first meeting on Wednesday, March 20th. DJ Reeds meets every Thursday in the Peterson's room, and DJ Reitz meets every other Tuesday in room 3 2 one, four. St. Patrick's Day originated in 1631. Now, let's go to our feature story to learn more. Hi, this is Eddie reporting for ENN, and today we'll be interviewing three students to celebrate the Irish tradition of St. Patrick's Day in different ways. St. Patrick's Day celebrations aren't confined to big cities like Chicago. Even our city of Lakeland joins in the festivities with its own unique charm. St. Patrick's Day means to me to wear green and celebrate with my family. I celebrate St. Patrick's Day by getting with every single one of my relatives and doing a little Irish jig every once in a while. Uh, my family like cooks like corned beef hash and uh, we have cabbage too. And uh, we also dye with boiled tea. Similar celebrations bring communities together with the iconic tradition of dyeing the Hillsboro River green. This long-standing tradition, which originated in 1962 in Chicago, has since become a vibrant symbol of our shared heritage and the lively spirit of Tampa Bay. I'm glad to see that students here at DJ appreciate and spread the traditions of St. Patrick's Day. This is Eddie reporting for ENN. Thank you guys for giving us a little bit more insight about what St. Patrick's Day is all about. And remember, if you didn't wear green this year, make sure to wear some next year. Attention all seniors, the grad bash tickets are on sale and the deadline is Friday. And also, field day is coming up. So if you haven't purchased your tickets or your packets, make sure to do so in Mr. Townley's room. Also, purchase your cap and gown before the prizes start to increase. Now, let's go to some student interviews about different holiday traditions. To celebrate St. Patrick's Day, some people do traditions like wearing green or eating corned beef and cabbage. Let's hear some students' favorite holiday traditions. My favorite tradition is sitting by the campfire at Christmas Eve. My favorite holiday tradition is opening one gift Christmas Eve. And my favorite holiday tradition is opening presents on Christmas. And my favorite holiday tradition is Noche Buena. My favorite holiday tradition is eating Christmas dinner with my family. Those are definitely some fun traditions. I'm Lily, reporting for ENN. Thanks guys. One tradition my family has is by watching the Polar Express every Christmas. Now, make sure to purchase your golden ticket for prom this year, which is $80 and sold up during all lunches. Youth and Government meets every Monday in the sports room. George's Closet Foundation meets every first and third Wednesdays of each month. Our club this year is after school and it's free. And Young Life meets every Friday at 6.20. Now, let's go to the segment you all have been waiting for, Manners with Morocco.
Hopefully you learned a little bit more from Mr. Morocco and about St. Patty's Day. Well, I know you're all sad to hear it, but that will conclude today's show. I'm Lily signing off of ENM.